Hi, my name is Deborah Bird. I am a local mortgage and real estate strategist here in Dallas, Texas, specifically uh, Plano. And I just wanted to go over one of the most frequently asked questions I get and which home loan is best for me. Or um, traditionally, I get clients that come in and they seem to already know the home loan that they want based on um, information that either they've been told elsewhere or Google, which I just have to say, um, Google isn't always correct. And although there's traditionally the four most common types of home loans, which are FHA, VA, USDA, and conventional, um, there's pros and cons to each of those. There's different requirements on down payment, credit scores, debt to income ratio. However, my team, which we're a full mortgage team, and if you haven't watched that video on my YouTube channel or in my Media Vault, I highly recommend why to work with a full service mortgage team. But essentially, your best home loan may not be something that you find on the internet. And that is because I choose to work for a company that has partnered with other companies where we kind of bring the common sense back to lending. And just because you don't fit into some traditional government boxes, that doesn't mean that there's not a home loan out there that's perfectly tailored for you. So I essentially start with your needs, your wants, and then a strategy. And every client that comes to me, they kind of have their own story. And I always say there's there's a different story behind every for sale sign. Or um, I'm also a certified divorce lending professional. And so sometimes, um, we don't know what we what we don't know and until you meet with a true professional that um, I am just fueled by equipping people with the correct information of what's truth um, versus just any information to get you to make a decision when it may not be your best decision so we have options with lowest down payment um, so conventional loans right now they start at three percent down there are some pros and cons to that okay um, but then we even have no down payment. So sometimes I have clients that come to me and they say they heard somewhere on my website that there's there's options to be able to buy in the state of Texas with, with no down payment. And I tell them you're absolutely correct. We have um, a nonprofit organization where the state will gift you, which is a true gift, uh, the down payment in order for you to get into home ownership. Uh, we also have USDA, which is more for your rural type areas. Um, or VA that are 0% down. What I love about those is there's no mortgage insurance monthly. So it just kind of, again, goes to what's the need and the want is, is the biggest pain point your total funds that you have access to for the purchase, or is it more of a monthly payment we're trying to stick to with the budget? Um, because again, you may qualify for much more than what that monthly budget is that you've set for yourself. Um, I know for me, I personally have four kiddos and when they were all in daycare at one time, it was almost, I think we were paying about 3,700 a month just in daycare. However, that wouldn't have been shown on a credit report. So I would have a lender try to qualify me for much more, not to mention diapers, doctor's appointments, pink eye, um, what were some, oh, uh, lice that would be common, just, you know, those colds that they get from being in daycare or around other kids. Um, they didn't always know that part of my life and why I had the budget I did, frankly, because they didn't even ask. Um, but my team, we really go deep with each client and we want to assess, is this the real need or is there a need behind the need? Same thing with the desire. Is it at the point where, you know, your kids are getting old enough and um, it's really important to you for your home to be the home where all the kids go to uh, one there in high school so there's no anxiety or fear of what they're doing late at night or um, is it the first time to buy and you're so nervous of the commitment because traditionally when you think of a house and a mortgage you're so set on a 30-year commitment when some of our millennials I mean they even rent their clothes so statistics will show there's not a lot of people that keep their home for 30 years anymore so maybe it, it's not just the lowest interest rate today, but it's the the lowest total interest paid for the life of the loan that you plan on being there. So again, that comes with the strategy of, do we go with a fixed mortgage option? Do we go with an ARM? Um, again, this, this will be based off this consultation and kind of prescription that my team draws out of you to figure out, 
if this is an investment property that you, you know you're going to sell in five years, or if this is just a starter home that you know you're not going to be there long term, well, that has a huge impact in your overall strategy when structuring a mortgage. Um, we also have different unique construction home loans where we can do a one-time close or a two-time close where if you have a lot and a builder and you know what that price is going to be to build, we have solutions for you there. Um, I think I, I mentioned I'm a certified divorce lender and I can't tell you how many lenders will assume the only way to get equity out of a home is through a cash out. Um, but we look at, you know, is cash out or home equity better? That will depend on are both people on the loan and if so, maybe an ulti lead is your best route. So when people ask me which home loan should I put on an application, I usually say don't because your application is just the rough draft. That hasn't even given my team or myself the thorough look to work your application and interview you to see which is your best overall strategy. Because again, you only know what you know today, but then the new information I bring to your awareness, that's gonna help guide you make the best decision, not just any decision when purchasing a home, but the best decision. So the, the best place to get started is to go directly to my website, which is thedebrabird.com. Okay, I spell my name the long way. Um, that is the first place we usually start before we even talk on the phone, because uh, we also have loan programs that maybe the need is, I have um, really bad credit. I just had a bankruptcy a month ago. I don't think I can qualify. Well, I have a loan program for you. Um, or I'm self-employed and I just had a, a big business loss. Well, I have a home loan program for you. We go off of just bank statements to draw income. We don't even look at tax returns. Um, so there's, there's lots of different options. The only way for us to kind of start our process and dive deep before we even have too much of a conversation, because again, we've got to be able to look at some of the, the bones and the skeleton um, of the loan. And this application will allow us to do that. So go online and apply. Please also follow me. This is my um, handle on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube like subscribe and if you will do me the honor today um, my business only grows off of referrals so we want to serve as many families as we can and make sure we equip them with the correct and truthful information when it comes to purchasing a home and so if you would make a post on our behalf tag me if you don't mind so that all of your fans and followers and family members they too can reach out to the same person that you did to get the best information so they can make um, you know, a good strategy when you're buying a home, which, you know, that's your largest asset and largest debt. So we would be honored if you would do that for us. And we appreciate your time and um, look forward to seeing your name come through our application portal. Have a great day.